Hey there, Michael James. Going to show you how to prepare your session for upload for remote mixing. So basically what you're going to want to do is uh, consolidate files, make continuous uh, clips, uh, you know, from the beginning of your session, get rid of the unused playlists and uh, all of the unused regions or clips that are going to slow down your upload. So uh, when we're done with that, we'll use the Save Copy In feature in Pro Tools and you should have a nice streamlined uh, upload process. Save you a little bit of time. Alrighty then, let's go. So the first thing you're going to want to do is save your session as. So don't just save your session, save it as. You'll notice that we have a session called Backseat Driver um, Drums Edited 2. What we're going to do is save it as uh, Backseat Driver RTM for ready to mix. Okay? Um, so now you'll notice that the file name has changed, ready to mix, or RTM. Okay, so you'll also notice that we have continuous files, right? But then we have some here, the toms, that are in bits and pieces, and what we really want them to do is begin at the same place that the other files begin, which is basically at bar one, beat one. You'll notice that there are whole files, which are in bold, um, and then there are edited clips. So let's click on this. Let's click on this. So you can see those two bits uh, need to become part of a continuous file. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is zoom in here, and I will show you that I have already done fades. Okay. See, there's my ending fade. Okay, we're going to zoom out a little bit here. Actually, we'll look at the whole thing. Option A. Uh, notice that I have a duplicate playlist here. Here's what the previous playlist looked like. Now we're going to go to my edited playlist. Okay, and I'm going to select all by going Apple A, and then I'm going to hold the shift key and bring that all the way back to the beginning of the file. So we've got everything selected. Now I'm going to go Option Shift 3. Option Shift 3, which is the command for consolidate, Option Shift 3. So now we have continuous files. Now the next thing that we are going to do is select the unused playlists and or delete the, uh, delete the unused playlist and I'll show you why. You notice that we have two ride symbols here, two snares, basically because we have duplicate playlists, snare top, snare bottom. So we want to get rid of everything that we're not actually using. Um, the first step is going to be delete the unused playlists. So I'm going to select all of the unused and delete them. I'm going to select the unused audio, which is Apple Shift U, but I will uh, do it over here just so you can see it. Select unused audio. We're going to look at the bin the clips bin, and we're going to see all those little bits here and there are selected and the unused kick drum is selected. Apple Shift B. Okay, so I'm not deleting from disk. I'm not doing that. I'm just removing from the session. Okay, and uh, so there we go. We have whole files. I'm not quite sure we have why we have that little kick bit in there. Now let's, uh, let's save the session. See, nothing is missing. We've got everything that we want. And being that we still have duplicates, like we have two hi-hats, used one and an unused one, we're going to go select unused, Apple Shift U, remove those, Apple Shift B, remove them. We've cleared out the bin. We're going to save. I'm just going to make this look really nice. I'm going to select uh, mini for everything. Uh, option mini. Okay, so we've got our entire session in there. Everything that we want to copy is, is indeed in there. The next thing that we're going to do is save this, and then we're going to do save copy in. Okay, and the save copy in, we're going to choose the Pro Tools session that you want to use. Latest is fine. Everybody I know at least is uh, on Pro Tools 10 or 11. Copy audio files. We can change the file type if we want, but we're at we're in WAV files, 48K, 24-bit. That's what I want. I'm going to click OK. And then this is called copy of backseat driver, RTM, for ready to mix. 
we're not going to put it in the same folder where it is. We are actually going to put it someplace completely different. And the place we're going to put it is in a new folder, RTM, RTM for upload. I like that. That's a good place to do it. And we are going to save it. So that is done. I'm going to show you something by going to the Finder right now. Okay, if we go to the hard drive that has this, RTM for upload, we have a copy of Backseat Driver, RTM, and in the audio files, we only have just uh, the tracks that we wanted, right? So that's good, and we have a Pro Tools session. And if we look at the size of this, Apple Eye will tell us the size. It is 899 megabytes. Let's go compare that to the original Apple I. Is 3 gigabytes. So we've just saved a huge amount of space. 3 gigabytes versus less than 1 gig. That's exactly what we wanted to do. So now I'm going to go back to um, that RTM for upload folder, and we've got this copy of Backseat Driver RTM that's basically ready to mix. So before you upload it, we can right click it and we can go compress copy of backseat driver ready to mix. Although before we do that, I want to explain something to you that's actually quite critical. We're still in backseat driver RTM. That's the session that's open. We are not in the copy of backseat driver. Save this. We're going to close out of it. Now we are going to open the copy. Um, so I'll actually never, I'll find this th from the, the finder. So here we're going to take a step backwards. It's in RTM for upload, not the Minty Freshman. We're going to open copy of Backseat Driver RTM. Okay, we don't care about a detailed report. And we're going to test this and make sure it plays. And it does play and everything is there. Um, close that. We don't need to save that. Um, so we're going back to this copy of Backseat Driver RTM, the one that's going to be uploaded, and we are going to compress it. And you'll see that it's about 900 meg, and we will find out how much smaller it is after it's zipped or compressed. 688.5 meg instead of 900 meg. Really cleaned out a session, got it ready for a relatively painless upload and uh, this file here, the zip file, that's the one that you're going to want to upload to Dropbox or to a server or basically wherever you're going to put it. Thanks for tuning in. Michael James for Indie Promix. I'll uh, see you guys around.